I think I'll start on a, um, a point uh, that, that Stuart began, which is looking at uh, the radical changes to our agricultural system over time, beginning 10,000 uh, years ago. So the origin of modern wheat, modern rice, and modern corn began estimated uh, about 4,000 to 12,000 BC. And the progenitors of these modern varieties are in Turkey, China, and Mexico. For about another 11,000 years, 12,000 years, not a lot happened until Gregor Mendel came along. And he figured out what um, our ancestors were actually looking for. So the important point here is that the seed contains all the traits that the farmer um, needs, such as yield, um, drought tolerance, pest resistance, disease resistance. But until Gregor Mendel discovered the principles of genetics, it was unknown um, how to take advantage of scientific information to do directed breeding. Since that time, there's been many scientific advances. So for example, in 1900, hybrid maize production began and with vast increases in, in yields of maize. There have been other types of um, modern methods, such as X-ray mutation breeding, which introduces random mutations into the genome, which is the collection of genes, uh, which has led to some valuable crops, such as grapefruit, was induced by X-ray mutagenesis. And most of these, or I'd say all of these advances have been accepted by the population. However, in 1993, the first genetically engineered crop was improved for commercial release, and there's been a lot of discussion since then. Some people think that genetic engineering is just the natural next step in human domestication of crop plants. Others believe that it's completely unnatural. So I, I want to just go back to give you an idea of the kinds of uh, breeding that have occurred. So the Native Americans 8,000 years ago began with this um, wild progenitor of modern maize shown on top called teosinte. So teosinte produces about 10 to 20 seeds per plant. You have to break open the seeds to get at the nutrition um, inside with a hammer. And the Native Americans uh, began the first breeding experiments. And that has evolved to today to this uh, modern hybrid corn production, which is estimates to uh, produce about 100-fold uh, more seed for each plant. So that means that we can use 100 times less land, 100 times less water to grow the same amount of food.